Welcome back to Studio 701. There are a growing number of podcasters and authors in the state, and we like to celebrate these creators by getting in on the conversation. Uh, Asher Noel has more from the Good Talk Network in Minot. We've all heard the phrase, that kind of thing doesn't happen in our town. But here on Midwest Murder, we will shatter that false reality. In fact, it happens more often than we know, and sometimes the details of the most horrific crimes that happen in our neighborhoods are lost in the back pages of newspapers, forgotten on our news channels, and eventually erased over time. Well, good morning. I'm coming to you from the Good Talk Network studios. I'm here today with Jonah, creator of the Good Talk Network, and with Don, co-host of the new Midwest Murder Podcast. Ooh, Ooh mid true crime. Everybody loves true crime, guys. What a great idea. How did you come up with the idea for the show? Well, like you said, it's a, it's a pretty sensational podcast topic right now. A lot of people are into true crime, the documentaries, the TV shows, and the podcast the most popular and rising genre in the podcast world. And Don and I have had this little baby of an idea for I, maybe a year. About a year? Even. Maybe longer. A, about a year it kind of marinated and we went back and forth and we wanted to really get it right. And we, we really just finally decided that now was the time. I think what sort of triggered it was the C.J. Wynn. She's a North Dakotan, and she's the recent author of a new true crime novel, Wilder Intentions, and that was about the murder of Angela Wilder that occurred in Minot. She was a guest on the Good Talk podcast, and I mentioned to her, I said, you know, we've been going back and forth, my friend Donna and I, about doing a, a, a murder podcast. And after my, my talk with her, and I read her book, and I was like, yes, we, we, need, to we, do this. <laughs> we need to do this. We, we need to bring some of these stories to life. Absolutely. And some of these stories go way back. I, I was reading some of the comments online and they were like, that happened like right next door to me. And I'm going to ask my parents if they remember, you know, what it was like at that time. And um, so it's interesting to go back and, and find some of these somewhat forgotten stories. Absolutely. Especially as generations um, get older and, and, you know, a new generation is, is brought up. It, they might be, you know, stories that they've never heard before. And so, you know, we certainly want to um, shed light on those and, and make sure that they're not forgotten. It, it's a headline you remember, but sure. you never heard the story. You saw the conviction that came out, right? right? And only, only the real diehards, I think, follow these stories. The rest of us, it always seems at arm's length. And so I think with true crime, that, that arm's length reaches out and it pulls you in a little bit and particularly some of the re reviews and comments that we've had on the show where, where people feel like they're right they're right there uh, we want to build those suspenseful moments there's a, there's a, a narrative style there that we're going for and it's it's certainly taking forward some of these forgotten murders but also uh, bringing people into the narrative, into the story. And certainly a lot of our listeners are coming from around the country, but just given that Good Talk is based in North Dakota, we do get uh, about two thirds of our listenership is from this region. And so it's exciting that more people from without are hearing these North Dakota stories, but it's also bringing that level of familiarity to the people who um, have heard the whispers of these stories, but okay. don't know the full tale. And how is it going? What's the response been? Phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, really, we're very excited about the response to Midwest murder. We're close to trending on iTunes, and we've been asking everybody who listens, the, the biggest thing you can do to help a podcast like Midwest murder is take 39 seconds out of your day, give it a five-star rating on iTunes, and drop a quick review, even if it's just two or three sentences. That's really what helps helps perpetuate Midwest murder in the algorithms. Well, I've certainly been seeing those comments on Facebook. The Good Talk Network fans are very active online community, and I hear you're doing something special for them for the holidays. We have something really exciting on December 26th. We're asking everybody to gather around the internet with the Good Night Live team, and we're bringing you the Good Night Live stream Christmas special, Saturday, December 26th. All the great elements with our host Jake Throutkill, the monologue, the comedy, the skits, bits, this time with a festive twist. Oh, like those old Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra specials. It'll be a wonderful time, and I'm sure many of our 701 viewers will love to check that out. Speaking of being able to check out 
your stuff, where can we find Midwest Murder? It's a good question. Very easy. Every other Monday, a new episode comes out, and you can get it on iTunes, Spotify, literally anywhere podcasts can be found. If you Google Midwest Murder, you should be taken right to us. And we're also on all social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Get out there. Rate, review, subscribe, Midwest Murder. Well, thank you so much for having me, you guys. It has been such a fun time. It always is at the Good Talk Network Studios. Um, and back to you, Amber. All right, thank you, Asher. This has been Let's Talk. And we've mentioned this before. I can't believe it's the 1st of December. It is the 1st of December. That means I can shave my beard, but I won't. <laughs> I was just going to say, how was the month for you? It was good. I mean, yeah. I wish my beard grew a little bit faster, but, yeah. you know, it is what it is. No shave November, and it's continuing into December. Also, keep it here. We're going to find out what national...